Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. Today I want to make this fun little rocket launch animation. It's going to be very stylized, very low poly rocket, vaguely inspired by the Falcon Heavy um, from SpaceX, but we'll adjust the proportions so it's a little bit like more chubby and cute, you know, more suitable for casual illustration and animation. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, it will really help my channel to grow. And if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see more like this in the future, please hit that subscribe and additionally bell button if you want to get notified when I release something new. And if you're new to the world of 3D and Blender and you want to become a 3D illustrator, go and check out my courses that are carefully designed to teach you beginner and intermediate skills in quickest and most effective way. For example, with the new Ultimate 3D bundle, you can go from simple cubic designs all the way to full character illustration in a matter of weeks. So if you're interested, please go check out the link in the description. Let's jump right into empty Blender file and I will just select everything, press X and delete. And now let's start by adding circle. So let's press Shift A and add a circle. Now let's reduce the vertices to six. As I said, this will be very low poly and now tab in, press F to fill and now E to extrude something like this, uh, maybe a little bit higher. And now let's press E to extrude once more, scale it up a little bit by pressing S and now extrude once again and again and scale down like this. Now we can alt click this loop right here and press Ctrl B to bevel to create the pointy end just like that and now select this vertex right here hold shift s and cursor to select it now let's tab out press shift a and let's add a plane tab in scale it down a little bit press e to extrude and scale it down this will be like a little booster or something now tab out and we can add a mirror modifier there so let's go to modifiers tab add a mirror modifier now use the eyedropper to choose the center of mirroring and now switch this to y and turn off x and now we can select everything here press shift d and x to duplicate this and move it to the side a little bit like that now tab in and we'll modify the top part of the rocket so first of all let's select these vertices press x and delete now move this a little bit down and now extrude on z-axis so e then z scale it down press f to fill and again we can bevel this and now what we can do is to add mirror modifier to both of these objects so let's add a mirror modifier here use the eyedropper tool and then we can add another mirror modifier on this booster use the central rocket as a mirroring object okay so this will be the basic rocket shape we can maybe modify um, the shape a little bit unfortunately shapes of rockets are what they are um, but let's move on and let's reset the cursor to world origin by holding shift s and let's add a plane so i'll press shift a and add a plane now let's scale this up so press s and then four um, that should be enough and now tab out and press shift d uh, to duplicate right click to release in place now tab in and with this new plane i want to extrude the sides so select this edge right here you can press 2 for edge select so you can easily do that and press e then x and extrude it like that and on the other side as well now alt click the loop here and press e then y and extrude and here as well and this is simply because i want to delete this middle plane so let's go for face select press x and delete faces and we have the original place in the middle and we'll use that to slide away and back when animating okay so that's the basic rocket now we can parent everything um, to the main booster so let's press ctrl p and set parent to object keep transform and we can move it slightly up just like this and now let's press shift a and let's add a plane here now we can scale it up a little bit not too much um, something like this i will use this as the particle emitter so shift click the rocket and parent that as well and now let's select the plane again and we'll create the particle emitter there so let's click this plus icon and we now have um, some particles um, generating there and we need to set them up so first of all i want them to collide um, with the bottom so let's move this up a little bit just press g then z and move it a tiny bit up and when they fall i want to collide with those planes and stick to them so let's go to physics properties and enable collision 
and increase damping that will make those particles to stick a little bit better and now do the same for the larger plane and increase damping here as well and now if we play back the animation they are sticking to the surface and now i want to give them a little bit of movement so go to the velocity tab first of all i want to set normal velocity to zero i don't want them to have any speed on emission but i want to give them a little bit of brownian movement something like 20 and now you can see they will kind of move around a little bit before they disappear and let's reduce their lifetime to something like 15 frames so they disappear a little bit sooner okay and right now if you move the rocket while animating um, you will leave the trail of those particles and let's set some object for those particles i like to use icosphere for that so let's press shift a and let's add icosphere and let's reduce subdivisions to one and i will call this smoke so i can better pick it in the list and let's press g and z and move it all the way down we don't need it in the scene now let's select the particle emitter again let's go to the render first of all let's disable show emitter so it doesn't show in the renders and let's choose object and from the list we can search for smoke and we can increase scale of those particles so they look something like this and now we can set the scale randomness to one and additionally let's enable rotation and randomize all the way and randomize face as well okay so we have something like this in place a um, little bit of smoke coming um, from the bottom of the rocket and now i want to animate the rocket movement so let's go all the way to frame 60 let's press i and insert location keyframe and now let's slide all the way to frame 120 and first of all let's create a camera so i will press n on a numpad and i have my pr isocam add-on active here if you don't have it go in the description you will find the link and instructions how to download and install this add-on and i will create a true isocam here and let's set the proportions to something like 1600 to 1200 or you can go for square proportions whatever you like and now i will increase this to something like 18 and press g then z to bring it up a little bit maybe something like 22 okay um something like that and now let's select the rocket again and press g then z and move it up remember we are still on the frame 120 and i want the rocket to go approximately here for example so let's press i and insert location again and we have this nice little start of the rocket and this right here is usable as it is but we can do some little tweaks to make it look a little bit better so let's select the particle emitter again and we can play with the scale um, of those particles a tiny bit so let's reduce the scale at the start so they're not so large and when the rocket starts we can press i to add a keyframe on the scale and let's say on the frame 95 we can increase this and press i so right now they start really small and as the rocket goes up they get larger so now let's set the range of the whole animation i think something like 150 or 160 frames should be enough for the animation of course we'll need to set up our frame rate as well so go to the output settings and switch this to 30 frames and now you can see at the frame 150 we can still see some of that smoke um, but don't worry about it just select the rocket go to the frame 120 and press g then z move it up slightly and then press i and location and now we can go to the animation tab switch this part here to graph editor and first of all let's expand the animation tracks for the rocket here and we don't need x and y locations so press x to delete them and now i will select all keyframes press period on an numpad to focus on our curve here and move this handle to the right so press g then x and move it to the right so the start is a little bit more weighty and then it kind of launches forward like that okay and we have no particles in the end here so we can reset our loop and bring the rocket from the bottom so let's select the plane here let's go to frame 120 and let's press i and insert location now i'll press shift d 
and duplicate this to frame, let's say 140, um, or even let's go all the way here and let's move these from frame 130. So we will start sliding right here and here it should be fully open. So let's press G then Y and eight should be exact amount. Um, if you use different proportions, you can always just snap it into the corner. And now let's press I and location. So we have an animation like this here and I want the rocket to go up here. Now select the rocket, select the frames at 120, press T and instead of Bezier or linear, we'll use constant. And now if we move to 125, we can just press G then Z, move the rocket down there, press I and insert location and that will basically make rocket jump from one location to another. And now while this is opening, when it's fully open, I want the rocket already to be up around here. So let's select this frame right here, press Shift DX and move it right there. And that's the same location as it was in the beginning. We have the same here. And now we need to select this set of frames, press T and switch these to Bezier. So rocket resets and slides right up. Okay, now let's go to the lab view and let's add some color. So I'll switch to material preview and enable screen space reflection, bloom and ambient occlusion. And now let's select the background here and let's create some color. I want this to be colorful illustration. So something like blue, a little bit of a violet tone, just like this and increase the roughness. Now let's select the rocket and create a new white material. We can leave the roughness at 0, 05. Now tab in and create a loop cut here. Alt click the loop and let's create a new material. And this could be a little bit gray, something like this. And now let's add a gray for the boosters as well. And now I'll select smoke and create full rough white material for that one. And now to make this a little bit interesting, let's create another loop cut here. Alt click the loop and let's add some red color just to add some interesting detail here. And we can do the same here. First of all, let's add that white material and let's pick the red color from the list. Click assign. And we have our little rocket. Now let's press shift A and let's add some light. I will add the sunlight. I want this to be nicely defined. I will hold period, switch to 3D cursor. Now press R, X and 30 degrees and R, Z, 45 minus. And let's set the strength to something like three and let's preview with the scene lights and scene world. So we have something like this in place. Now I want to render this out in cycles because I think it will give us some nice um, light definition and nice shadows. So let's press Ctrl B and limit the view so we don't render anything outside the camera view. And now let's switch the render engine to cycles. I will switch to GPU and enable some denoising. And I will use only like 128 samples for this kind of animation. And I'll reduce tile size. Okay, now let's preview this. And to get some better ambience, I will go to the world settings and add some violet color for the world light. You will see how it fills the shadows and gives much nicer vibe to our animation. So that's our little rocket launch animation. Basically, this is it. This is our loop. I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please leave that like. It will really help me. And again, if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see content like this in the future, please hit that subscribe. Thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day.